so this is interesting. Krish, are you familiar with Trump's executive order con- concerning Section 230, the Communication Decency Act? I don't think I am. <clears throat> okay, so yeah. let me uh, up here. Let me Authorizing. start it from the beginning. Um, let's just watch this. So I'll, I'll give you a quick crash course. But uh, this organization, Fight for the Future, they really sum it up perfectly. So there's... Um, The ongoing issue that I know you have talked about, that I have talked about in regards to organizations like Facebook and YouTube and Google and Twitter kind of being able to uh, censor stuff that they just deem unpleasant. And the battle here is that, well, gee, I don't think a bunch of Silicon Valley billionaires should decide what is and isn't free speech. They're not qualified to make those decisions. Uh, so they shouldn't be doing that. And <laughs> we've, we've, we've talked about that issue on this show. You've talked about that issue. This is an issue that's been going on. It kind of started when uh, they decided to deplatform Alex Jones, right. which that was a weird, for instance, because I'm certainly not a fan of Alex Jones, but I don't think a bunch of Silicon Valley billionaires should be deciding what is and isn't free speech. And I don't think anyone should ever be deplatformed unless they actually violated free speech laws. So unless they did that, they shouldn't be to platform. Uh, so, so Trump has an executive order floating out there that would gut uh, Section 230 of the Communication Decency Act. What that is, is that is the act that basically allows websites to host uh, user submitted content, something like a Facebook, like a Twitter. So here's the complexity going on there. And here's why Trump's executive order is not a solution at all. This two minute video from fight for the future really breaks it down in an incredibly concise way. So let's just watch it. The FCC is moving forward with a white house executive order authorizing mass government censorship of the internet. It would put agencies like the Federal Communications Commission, run by its notorious chairman, Ajit Pai, in charge of policing free speech online. The administration claims this order is intended to address alleged bias on part of social media companies. And there's no question that platforms like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter have amassed tremendous power to limit expression, silence our voices, spread hate, and manipulate public opinion. But this executive order won't fix any of that. Instead, it would punch a giant hole in Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, which is known as the 26 words that invented the internet. It's the law that allows websites to host content posted by regular people, our photos, opinions, videos, memes, reviews, and more. And it gives websites and online communities the ability to set basic rules and act in the public interest. If this executive order were signed, it would essentially mean that whichever party is in power gets to decide what speech is allowed on the internet. If the government doesn't like how a website does moderation, they can shut them down. That won't stop big tech from silencing anyone. It will just let the government silence everyone. We've seen bad ideas like this before. Politicians from both parties don't really understand how the internet works, and powerful elites are threatened by its openness. But we've stopped internet censorship attempts before and we can do it again. Insiders say there is significant disagreement within the Trump administration about whether to move forward with this controversial executive order. The FCC has opened public comments on this issue. It's time to flood their inbox and tell them to block this order. Take action and share this with everyone you know. And so to take action, you can go to saveonlinefreespeech.org. Uh, again, that is saveonlinefreespeech.org. You can find out what you can do. You can take action. And yeah, I think they just sum it up perfectly because, yeah. you know, people have gone back and forth about this and they're like, well, you know, what Facebook and Twitter and these companies are able to do, it's not right. Yeah, you're right. It isn't right. But the way, like I explained this executive order, it's the equivalent of saying, okay, somebody has a broken arm. Let's set them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I mean, it, it's like it's taking a bad situation and making it even worse. Yeah, it, it. I mean, it's kind of the thing that a lot of people were concerned about when it came to the Internet, which was like, oh, no, it's it, somebody's going to be able to control it. And what if the Democrats control it? What if the Republicans control it? And regardless of which side controls it, like that is just an entryway into fascism in and of itself. 
because you're controlling what people can and can't say. So if if we want to make a joke about Trump and he decides that that's not OK or we want to make a joke about, you know, Mitch McConnell looking like a turtle or whatever, and that's deemed not OK because the Republican Party is in control. That's not that's a, a clear violation of First Amendment rights. But again, like these tech companies controlling it, they fall into this weird kind of gray area of like, well, they're they're a private industry, they're a private company, so they can determine what is and isn't on their platform. Which well, that's why, do. yeah, well, I was just going to say, <clears throat> I, I think the ultimate solution for all this is to make institutions like Facebook and Twitter and, and Google just all public utilities. Yeah. That's the solution. Point. And, and yeah. then just have, you know, I mean, I understand we have free speech laws and have someone who is qualified uphold those. Yeah, just, just I, like in just like in a real town square, treat the E town square like a real town square. And I, I, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and 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 here's the thing, too. Like the other part of this is, OK, so let's say something like this goes forward. What these social media companies will do to respond is they will just try to make sure they do everything in their power to prevent a situation like this from ever happening. So they'll just completely suppress any type of political speech whatsoever. Any type of political, they'll, they'll just be like, nope, you can't do that here. You can't do that. It's just, uh, it's just cat videos and, uh, <laughs> and, and, and baking recipes. That's it. Not that I have a problem with either of those two things. I like both those things. Melissa H. How are you, Melissa? Done exclamation point. I just sent comment to the FCC Thanks, Ron. Well, thank you, Melissa, for doing that. And let me go ahead and refresh everyone's memory on that URL, including my own, because I actually forget what the URL is off the top of my head as well. But uh, let me go ahead and revisit that thing uh, to give the... Okay, yeah, it is saveonlinefreespeech.org. Again, that's saveonlinefreespeech.org, where you can tell the White House that this executive order to blow up Section 230 is not a solution. That's taking a bad situation and making it worse, not making it better. The solution to crappy situations is not even shittier policy. It's good policy. <laughs> yeah, That's not, you know, th th that's just not how you solve things. So, uh, yeah. And again, that Save Online, uh, oh, what is it? I just forgot save, it again. SaveOnlineFreedom.org? I think it's SaveOnlineFreeSpeech.org. <laughs> save, save online free speech. The chat's yeah. probably going, they're probably like, dude, what, what happened to your short term? Uh, <laughs> Pot. That's what happened to it. Uh, SaveOnlineFreeSpeech.org. Yes, that is the website. SaveOnlineFreeSpeech.org. And shout out to uh, my friends and colleagues over at Fight for the Future for just making an excellent two-minute video. Like, they nailed it in two yeah, minutes. Yeah, they did a really great job. I mean, I've had hour-long debates with people about these issues, um, multiple episodes, and then in two minutes, they just summed it up. They're just like, yeah, we get it. This is bad, but this is bad, too, and this is why it's not a solution. Two minutes, they nailed it. <laughs> They nailed it. So shout out to uh, shout out to Fight for the Future for doing that. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and 